polling, independent polling, suggests this is not a left-right gap, folks. The issue in the United States in support for Israel is not left and right. It is young and old. And the numbers of young people who think that Hamas's you know, massacre was justified is shockingly and terrifyingly high. And so we really have a TikTok problem, a Gen Z problem. All right, so I think it's pretty clear what's going on here. What motivated this ban is not a concern about users' privacy in the U.S. If that was the case, lawmakers could have just passed legislation that does force TikTok and all other social media companies to stop collecting data on its users, or at least give users more control over what type of data is collected. That way, they could be shielded not just from Chinese espionage, but also U.S. espionage in the prying eyes of Silicon Valley oligarchs. No, instead, this is about ideology and clamping down on speech that the ruling class doesn't like. And it's also about eliminating competition for U.S. social media companies. The economic warfare part of this wasn't lost on Chinese officials. Spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry said, quote, This practice of resorting to hegemonic moves when one cannot succeed in fair competition disrupts normal operations of businesses undermines international investors' confidence in the investment environment, sabotages the normal international economic and trade order, and will eventually backfire on the U.S. itself. TikTok is used by roughly 170 million Americans, including many people whose livelihood depends on the app. And they were on Capitol Hill in recent days lobbying against the legislation. But in the end, the bill passed with overwhelming bipartisan support. The vote was 352 to 65. And based on that vote count, it's clear Congress deems an app that Zoomers post videos on to be a bigger threat than climate change, gun violence, and poverty. The digital rights group Fight for the Future said in a statement afterward, quote, The rhetoric fueling a TikTok ban is a xenophobic moral panic about the content on TikTok disregarding the 150 million users in the U.S. that use the app for news, small business, community organizing, and free expression. Congress really cares about the data abuse Americans are subject to because of surveillance capitalist business models. They should pass comprehensive privacy legislation that would stop all big tech companies from harvesting our data. Bill's prospects in the Senate are unknown right now. But President Biden did say that if it does pass, he'll sign it into law, pissing off millions of young left-leaning voters just ahead of an election. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies, and original TV shows.